95% of people who use SkyTrain do the right thing. They always buy a ticket. But this woman never pays. Have you ever been stopped by the transit police? Yes, I have. I think I have like $500 so far in tickets from them. She's not the only one. Transit police handed out about 53,000 tickets over the past year, mostly for failing to pay the fare. Check in fare, sir, please. Over 45,000 riders didn't bother to pay the $173 fine. The loss in revenue, almost 8 million bucks. The consequence for not paying, nada, zero, zilch. Do you think that TransLink should go after those people who don't pay their fines? I think so, so they learn their lesson. The system is underfunded as it is, so there should be some sort of consequence. If there's no penalty, then why would people even bother paying? Yeah, there's no major deterrent to not yeah, deterrent. go against paying. TransLink's position for not enforcing fines, it's not their responsibility. Once the ticket's written, it's out of TransLink's hands. It is a, um, it's a provincial collection um, uh, responsibility, as it would be for, I guess, speeding and such like that. I think it is a situation where the ability to write a ticket with no ability to enforce the collection on that doesn't make a great deal of sense. But I can tell you this is the first time it's been brought to my attention and I'm going to fix it. On top of unpaid fines, TransLink is bleeding cash in fare evasions. $28 million over the past two years. The Transit Authority is looking at banning repeat offenders or even hiring a collection agency. Top brass are confident new fare gates will help, but the Canadian Taxpayers Federation says the free ride should be over for TransLink. It's embarrassing that TransLink's coming out with a billion dollar tax grab. They've asked for five tax tools. It would generate another billion dollars in revenue out of drivers' pockets. And yet they themselves aren't taking care of the money they already given. You know, until they clean up their own backyard and deal with their, where the $1.4 billion they already collect is going, we should not be giving them another nickel.